Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to Fort William. Things have been going... I can't settle on a tactic I like going forward. But we have had Regen Day. And we got a decent... Just one. We have a couple of others that, that might be potentially decent. They've got a lot of work to do. We've got Chris Fulton... Um, with our setup, he's never gonna he's never gonna get good. Really, ignore the four and a half star potential. But there is one kitty that actually looks pretty decent. Um, his name is where is he? Callum Anderson, one and a half star current ability, four five star potential, and he's pretty solid. He's got really good determination. He's brave. Physicals are okay. Um, not the best. He brings the ball out of defence. He's got six passing, which is which is heady heights. Boy, he's got the ability. To, I think he could become a squad player. I don't think he's going to sort of set the world alight as such, but I think he could become a decent squad player. Um, <clears throat> I have been mixing it up a little bit with the tactics. I I don't think Doogie Green is is cut out to be like your the main striker in the, in. We don't have a good. We got McMuffin, and we don't have a good second striker. I'm not really happy with any of them, and so I was thinking of trying to play a one striker tactic now I know this is probably a problem I just have because I'm an idiot but I can't get anybody in this number 10 role to ever do anything remotely useful no matter what role I play them or system that I play so I was thinking okay if we go one striker up top just have McMuffin as our striker but we don't I'm not I don't really want to use wingers and I was like I don't really want to use a number 10 so I was like okay well it really limits me and I was thinking I played a game where we had three central midfielders but there just wasn't enough support obviously for the strikers so I don't know let me know your thoughts in the comments we're just going to play the double mez but with one guy on a ball winning midfielder Sterling on a ball with ball winning midfielder today um it's been going all right after <laughs> you know my genius tactic that was the one nil win with McMuffin getting the goal we then lost to Inverness 5-2. They were obviously a very good side, but we were 3-0 down, 4-0 down after 34 minutes with the same tactic. And I was like, normally I don't do damage limitation, but this game I was like, fucking hell, we are screwed here. Let's just not let in 10. It's not great for morale. So I went really defensive and then we scored two goals. Because, you know, logic. <laughs> but then we... This is obviously our run of the difficult games. Um, we lost to Clyde 2-0. Not a bad result, really. They're top of the league now. Um, and then we just drew with Partick, which was decent. We went back to the Mazella double mez rolls and uh, got a 0-0 draw. Obviously, one with the ball-winning midfielder. Today, we've got Berwick. We've got four games left in the season. We're... Sh we sh we we Edinburgh have been shit, so we should be fine. There's seven points off four games left. It's all about can we stay above Airdrie, who are four points. We've got Berwick, who are mid-table. We've got Dumbarton mid-table. Then Airdrie is, could be a total decider. And then our bro through a seven. So the last two games are very much doable. So if we can get anything out today, a point, maybe three, treat ourselves, then um, it could be doable. We're resting P-Money. He's, he's played a lot of football in various different roles. Mainly playmaker, but in various different positions. So I thought, let's just rest him today. Give him a day off. <clears throat> All right, come on, boys. Like, I think I'm glad we... I'm still glad we signed Doogie Green. I don't, I don't think he's a bad player, but I just think he'd be great as a third choice. So hopefully next season... We go. I'm going to we go big on a striker, like like we like we even have the possibility of going big on a striker. We'll go medium large. We'll go girthy on a striker. <clears throat> and and let me know about this number ten role. T tell me how to make it work because I never seem to be able to do it. What role works for you? You know, in this fight, I like the five defenders with the wing backs. I like that. How can we get a number 10 in that thing? Can we go like a striker and then have a shadow striker, maybe? You know, but I just I just feel like they don't ever get involved. <clears throat> right. It's a pretty even boring game so far. We'll, I'd, I'll take a draw. To be honest, a draw would be great. Uh, Airdrie are playing our broth. So we, we kind of want our broth to win. We're not bothered about climbing the league. So let's get our broth a cheeky little win here, please. That'd be lovely. That's a good ball forward. 
Add it to the list of wanky goalkeepers. Shit. Should we watch that again just for, you know, torture ourselves with the ridiculous that is sports interactive goalkeepers? So, great ball forward. He looks miles offside, but that's okay. Keeper comes out and doesn't even remotely attempt to get the ball. <laughs> or kick it. Or smother it. Or make him... Oh, we're going to get to see it again. <laughs> now the game's just trolling me. <clears throat> is he not offside there? Okay. Great stuff, lads. Great stuff. Love goalkeepers in this game. Love them. There is still time to send in your clips. I'm not going to be making the video for about another sort of weekish or so. So if you have any silly goalkeepers, and like I said, not just massive fuck ups, but if you've recorded any goalkeeper stupidity, send them to me at lokidokigg at gmail.com because I'm going to be making what is quickly turning into a massive rant video about goalkeepers and how they are the worst thing in this game by quite a distance. They are the thing, and I've had comments about this before, that s literally stop people playing in 3D mode, right? <laughs> Which is not a good sign. <sighs> okay, we haven't really created much, but neither have they, apart from that stupid goal that was offside and the goalkeeper fucked up. <laughs> not bitter. Not bitter about it, boys, at all. <clears throat> okay, I'm all lads. Right, Come on, come on. Let's have a counter-attack. We don't have many of them. Go on, win it, win it. That's a good tackle, that's a great tackle. Plays an early ball. Lovely touch from Doogie, needs help. Finds it in Maxwell, plays it down the line. Greeny's just got to fight. It's all about this ball across. All about the ball across. No, he's going to shoot like a twat. <sighs> <laughs> Look at <laughs> I don't mean to shit on Sports Interactive, right? Right. I love this game. But look how lazy that graphics is behind it. We're just it's not even a large texture. Like how small a texture is that? Because you can see by the, the this grey thing here, you can see the same bit repeated every like five yards. It's like how hard is it to make a big texture? With a bit of area. Oh, have two different textures of concrete. And why is there just a giant slab of concrete outside Berwick Stadium? Maybe it is, and I apologise if it is. But that's it's just that's lazy, isn't it? It's lazy for a game that sells a million copies, right? That's full price game that sells a million copies each year. That's lazy. <clears throat> um... we do we don't have massive amount of options um are both a nil nil edinburgh nil nil with clyde this is not good is it this makes it all a bit closer we're losing and they're both getting a point pause it pause it right, sorry i know you're giving you a rest mate but we need you attacking midfielder go on treat yourself son and we'll make you... His passing's okay. We'll make you a deep line playmaker. <clears throat> have we had a highlight? Yeah, we have had one highlight, didn't we? <laughs> I think there was one. Shan's picked up an injury. A tight groin. We need to get him off, really, don't we? Lump over the top. Yes, Hutton, that's better, son. That's better. Mon Louis. <clears throat> Come on, just give us one chance. They're both nil-nil. How are you? Clyde drawing with Edinburgh, for Christ's sakes. Top of the league versus Edinburgh. Yeah, this is this is this is a bad day at the office, lads. You know, this is we're away against fifth, so bit uh, two nil is not the worst thing in the world. But the other teams doing well is a little bit irritating. Right, two nil. We haven't we haven't done nothing. Because the thing is, I'm thinking about is more longer term. 
I want to know what we do for next season so I know what to sign. If we go into next season not really knowing what formation we're going to be playing, <clears throat> maybe with just a better striker to partner him, it will work. I would like to have a dedicated number 10, even if we don't start with a tactic that uses a number 10, but even, even if just have somebody like when we're here, two nil down, we move the DM to a number 10, have somebody that's straight in. Because P Money, as much as we all love him, is not it's not that. He's not, not a number 10. The only goals he ever scores are from penalties. Okay. Not ideal, lads, that one. And the league gets closer. Oh, come on. Three days. Okay. All right. Now we're playing Dumbarton. They're fifth. This is going to be tricky. Okay, boys. Here we go. Okay, Adria playing Edinburgh. Oh, shit. Okay, do we want an Edinburgh win then? I guess we do. It's dangerous, but we want a draw or an Edinburgh win. Because if Adria win, that'll put them a point behind us. Do we bring Scott back in? Doogie Green's on an absolute terrible run at the moment. Come on, Scott. If you got one last before you leave the club, have you got one last oomph to you? <clears throat> um, what do we want to do, boys? I love the way Scott is is not natural in any position or role ever. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I don't know, mate. There's nothing. It's weird. I feel like every player should have at least one full green dot in something. It's like he doesn't know how to play anywhere. <clears throat> I'm going to try that. I'm going to try pressing forward on defend. Just because I haven't done it before. So I thought, you know, keep it interesting. Hang on, we're playing Dumbarton twice in a row. Both at home. Is that a thing? We're not. Please don't be a game ruining bug. That would be. Oh, it's been put. <laughs> okay, well, it's disappeared. We'll be back for the Dumb Mountain game. Okay, we're back for the game. <sighs> still not. I'm still not happy. What I might do in the pre-season is look at this basic shape and just redo all this. I think we really don't. We shouldn't be attacking for a start. Maybe the high line's a mistake. Obviously, that's always a gamble to play the high line offside trap with a poorer side. Maybe we take that off. I'd like some of this. Yeah, maybe we just keep go for this tactic next year and redo all the instructions and with a, another striker that can score goals. All right, it's all it's, it's all about Scott today, boys. All right, I'm telling you, he's gonna he's gonna do the business. This is his time to shine. Just a little swan song. That's all we're after. A little bit of heroism. Um, okay, so Edinburgh, uh, Edry did beat Edinburgh, which is worst case scenario. Great stuff. We've got two games left after this. We're two points ahead. Oh, oh no, it's P-Money. Oh, no, P-Money's not on. Scott Maxwell. Come on, Max. Come on, Maxie. Come on, Maxie. He's no P-Money, is he? Oh! They're going to go straight out the other end and score. Back heels and everything. <laughs> it's fine. Nothing to worry about there. Never look close, lads. <clears throat> like maybe two up top. It's fucking three, three. How do we play three centre backs and nobody's covering that? I feel like playing two up top, playing both really advanced, like advanced forwards or poachers or something on the last line. Play a little bit longer ball, basically getting get play out of defence. Get the ball to the wing backs and they can launch those sort of sing the ping esque balls over the back line. Look how nervous we all are. What's good for nervousness? 
Encouragement. That's what my, my thought would be. If you're nervous, just a bit of encouragement. It's ish work to ish works. I'll take an ish work. <laughs> There we go. Dunsmore. Cut it back. Cut it back. Maxwell. Oh, he's made up for it. He's only gonna made up for it, boys. Come on, Scotty boy. That's what I'm talking about. The two full backs, wing backs, linking up together. That's what we want to see. Because they're both not bad players. Oh, from from distance. Surprised the goalkeeper caught it and just didn't go. <laughs> That's scary, those balls. He's not even carrying it properly. It's like he's never held a football before. Uh, we should score more goals against this guy. What in the fuck is that? Jesus, that Shand with that back pass. Holy balls, mate. He's nervous. He's like, uh. Like, chill out, mate. All right, playing all right. We're playing good stuff. More encouragement. <laughs> I know you're nervous, mate, but oh, Christ. Ugh. Oh, Hutton, big strong hands. Right into the toilets. Come on, boys. We need we need this point. This could be a very important point. <clears throat> oh, I thought we got a touch on it. Good stuff. Okay, half time. Doing all right. I'm actually going to go. Just we've not got the possession. I'm just going to go to cautious. <clears throat> Ryan, the players. There's no real pressure on us. There is a shit. I know you're nervous, and that's probably the. Oh, do I just go with that? It's it's bollocks. I don't know how the players would fall for it. Do they not know how league tables work? I know footballers aren't the brightest buttons in the box, but. Surely they know there is a massive amount of... But that's why they're nervous in the first place. Oh, Scotty's done well. Go on, Scotty. Kept it as well. McCurdy. That was a hospital pass. Shand. Is he going to have another crack at it? At least it's towards their goal, not our goalkeeper. I'm surprised he didn't just back pass ping it 40 yards. Okay, winners. Winners. Oh, I can't do better, Shand. Got to be stronger. White, make a tackle, get a foot in. Watch the people in the middle, watch that little ginger bastard. <sighs> Hutton had it covered. This could go either way, this. We've had the better of the chances. Scott's going to pop up with one. We know this is going to happen. They're going more attacking. That's that's okay by me. I'm all right with that. And they're going to... Ooh, bit of freedom. All right, bit of Braveheart action going on. Fair enough. I'm going to praise them. Oh, fuck off. Stop disappearing. I've overwhelmed them with praise. <laughs> I hate these shouts. Fucking hate them. They're so not right. They're so... I don't know how anybody thought this was a good idea. Good. Yeah, that makes sense. Encouragement should really piss off everybody in your squad. Right, okay, we need the legend, just in case we get another penalty, basically. <laughs> Come on, the legend, P-Money. 15 minutes left. Let's check out and get creative. Because some shouts always work, no matter the situation. You can be 5-0 down or 5-0 up and say, get creative, and they seem to fucking love that. That, that. that shouldn't be the case, should it? <clears throat> Offside. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for FM Gods. He just stood there for ages, this dude, didn't he? <clears throat> he was in the way of the ball, right? Come on, get a winner. Get a winner. We've had a good game. We deserve a winner. Four minutes. Here it comes. Here comes the winner. Sterling. Maxwell, play it up. That's it. Don't mind that at all. <sighs> Got to do better, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Oh, God. It's fine. Perfect. Please challenge for the header. Please. Please try and attempt to head the ball, Mr. Attacker Man. He's like, um, I'm not a target man. Is that not offside? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, you didn't select me as a target man, therefore I don't head the balls. I think you'll find I'm a pressing forward. That's not what I do. Oh, yeah. I don't know why he's a posh English man playing in Fort William. But I can't do Scottish, so we'll have to deal with it. I've decided, I've changed my mind, I'm, just, I'm taking a draw. <clears throat> I've been stupid. I think in the last couple of games, I'm going to... I don't know. We've played all right this game, actually. Because I want to try the number 10. I don't know why I want to try the number 10. It never works, but... <laughs> no, let's not Let's not get crazy. That This was a good performance. I'm too... I don't know. You're unlucky tonight, boys. Okay, nobody cares. <clears throat> oh, we're playing Edry. This is basically shit or bust, then. If we beat them, if we draw... We have 34, and they have 31, but they've got a better goal difference. Okay, so uh, so uh, we it's win, and we are surviving for another season. Lose, and it's proper squeaky bum time. Yeah, they'll actually go above us, so it's not in our hands if we lose. So, like, we must draw at least, but a win ends it. We'll, I think we'll stick with it. That was a decent performance. Ah, oh, suspension. Excellent stuff. Right, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time for the big one.